So the unit is frozen, completely solid. Uh, it was 45 degrees in the house. Well, it is 45 degrees in the house. Um, the unit's not going into default. I took that little, that little dumper pin out. And I'm trying to uh, get it to go into default and she won't go. It's a 2023 unit. June 2023. to short out the test pins and it's supposed to go into defaults. So um, I, have to, I have to diagnose if it's a bad board or a bad default sensor. Yeah, you can see I have my leads inside the sensor. And we got the measurable resistance uh, of 19, uh, 18. Um, so if you, if you pull up a 10K thermistor chart and you um, look at 19.5, it should give you a temperature corresponding with that which I think is 28 degrees, I could be wrong. Um, and so we know the sensor's closing, so we got an issue with this board. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, these two wires off here, and I am going to jump it out with some alligator clamps and see if it'll go into defrost. All right, so the alligator clamps is on the uh, location where the sensor goes. Um, that's a normally open um, a circuit. And when it closes due to the sensor, it allows power through, which stops the condenser fan motor. Um, it switches the system into air conditioning mode. It turns on the emergency heat, which is the electric heat strips that are below this door. And it starts the compressor. Uh, so it uses that hot gas that's on the evap coil that's heating the house. And it's transferring that hot gas to this coil to, met, to melt this coil and melt the ice off. And then when this coil gets up to a certain temperature, which is programmed into the board, I think it's 70 degrees, then it shifts back over, allows power to get back to the fan, and it goes back into heat mode, and then this one is set up, well it was set up to go into defrost every hour. Alright, unit just kicked on. Shut it out. Turns are on the floor, and both filters were replaced uh, recently, uh, last week from what I was told. So that's actually a good sign right there. So let's wait for the default, it's going to take minutes. Now I know with some model Goodman's, from what I was told with uh, tech support, uh, come across a heat pump that's frozen, but you see how it's not frozen at the bottom? It's not coincidental that the sensor is at the bottom. So uh, what I'm going to do in this situation, I'm going to move the sensor midway to the coil. So it's actually knows when to kick on and kick off. So I'm going to actually put my leads in there and you know, going to watch this go to open line. There's nothing connected at the moment. So she's gripping. Not that long, right? We get a lot of service calls about my units on fire. I'm about to smell it, they're about now, nah, but it ain't smoke. I'm gonna let that run until pretty much ain't no more steam. Uh, the defaults can't run up to 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna let it run, do a stay, and then we're gonna move that sensor. Right here. Crazy, right? I know some of y'all call like pain. This is why you always verify and not assume because uh, that could have been an easy assumption that the system had a bad default board and sensor, but you just get them both at the same time. 
Um, but we verified that the sensor is uh, closed because it's cold. Uh, we verified that the board is actually going in the defaults because it's staying in the defaults. Um, so we've hooked up the new building sensor with the same shit. So, coil damn near done. We got a little bit of visual supporting our water. We're going to get some depth of teeth, temperatures, check the capacitors, and then go from there. we got two more calls after this. That is actually the accumulator. That's the question. Alright, so I moved the sensor from down there. Remember it was not frozen down there to right here. It's about halfway up the coil. So next time it gets to that position, it'll go into a uh, defrost. And I'm gonna set the timer to every 30 minutes um, versus not, uh, 60 minutes. So pretty much what that means, when that sensor closes the circuit uh, and closes the circuit here, it starts the timer. So it doesn't mean every 30 minutes is gonna go into defrost. It goes into defrost. Th uh, as soon as the sensor closes, the timer starts inside the board. Then it goes into defrost and it repeats it over and over again. So it can be running, run for 15 minutes, the unit, the house can, can get the temperature shut down, it'll kick back on, uh, and it'll, it'll start off at the timer that I was at, and it'll go into default space off of that. So it's going solely off of uh, the sensor closing and uh, time. All right, so I got the wires inside uh, the default sensor, coil is completely defrosted, open line. So this unit is ready to go. I got the power off at the moment, so we're just going to check the capacitor real quick. It should be good because it's brand new, but we're going to check it anyway. And then we're going to um, test defrost one more time. Just make sure it's good. All right, so this is when you start uh, looking for what and why. So you find a coil frozen, and then you get all that situation uh, situated, and you do your thing. Uh, and then you check the capacitor. Uh, fan side and compression side uh, the coil is frozen so naturally the fan is going to pull more power because it's trying to pull air through a solid block of ice which in turn can drain the capacitor uh, and then I uh, can do the same thing with the compressor the compressor is like a heart it can't breathe so it's pumping harder to do its thing and it can lower the capacitor in that sense so that's why you find the what and why so even if it was summertime and the uh, system is capacitor is low it's one of those things where you want to come back in the window and check it because you have an issue with the heat because it's a heat pump so uh, there's always a why so you find out what it is and you figure out why it failed I have to put the probe back in I expect it to hit about um, 95 to 100 degrees with the ox heat um, and that started at 78 before I pulled it out and checked the heat kit um, but that makes sense um, but yeah it was at uh, 78 before I pulled it out so that's pretty much the best we'll get. Uh, so yeah, that 25 to 30 degree split uh, on the system. I don't know how much time I got. Yeah, so 76 right now. What's the that take? 51. So you just do the uh, delta T is the temperature coming through the intake. But it's so close to the thermostat, I'm just going to use this temperature 51. Track 51 from this temperature, and that's your delta T.